In this video, we're going to learn how to query remote Parquet files using ClickHouse. So we're going to be using a hugging face dataset called Midjourney Messages. And this dataset contains Parquet files, which have metadata about images created by the Midjourney Gen AI image generation service. If we click over to the files and versions tab, we can see a list of all the files. And so you can see there are 56 Parquet files and they're sort of roughly 155 megabytes each. If we now come over to our ClickHouse local CLI, we're going to create a parameter called base that has the base of the hugging face dataset. And then we're going to call that URL for the first file. So 000000.parquet. And we're just going to get one row and then we're going to tell ClickHouse to format it in JSON each row format. And that'll take a few seconds. You notice it comes back with an error saying it's unable to connect to the server because of uh, redirects. And actually by default, ClickHouse will not follow uh, redirects uh, for security reasons, but we can fix that by updating our query to put in the setting max underscore HTTP underscore get underscore redirects. And we'll set that to one, but we're not going to run it just yet. So we're going to go over to another tab and we're going to set up the net top command to listen. Uh, we're going to pass in the PID of our ClickHouse local instance, and then we're going to tell it only to capture the bytes coming in. So I, how, how, many, how much reading of data is being done by our process. And if we now come back to the other tab, we can run the query. And you can see it comes back. It took about three seconds and we've got the first row. If we then go back to the other tab, we can see how much of that, how much data got pulled down. And so it was 152 megabytes, which is the entire file. So now let's come back again and we're going to remove the format uh, and the limit. And then instead of getting one row, we're going to sum the size, the, the sum of all the sizes of the values in that first parquet file. And then we're also going to get the convert it to a readable format as well. And let's now run that query and you can see it comes back. And the total of the sizes of the images in that first file was 3.14 terabytes. And it took just over one second to compute the result. If we now come back to our tab where NetTop is running, you notice the bytes in has only increased by five megabytes. So actually what ClickHouse does here is it uses HTTP range headers. When we, when we specify a specific column, it doesn't need to then go and pull down the whole file. It can just pull out that particular column, do the aggregation and then ignore everything else. And so we only had to use a very, very small subset of the file to compute the answer to this query. And so we can then go back to the, to the first tab and do this for all of the files. So we can use this quite neat range syntax. We can say, hey, I want to go from 00 up to 55. And it's going to get everything from 00 uh, all the way up to 55. And if we then run that query, it'll take just a few more seconds. And you see we get now get the total size of all of the images that have been created. And it's 148 terabytes. Let's go back to the other tab and see how much data it pulled down. So we're at 444 megabytes now. So remember before it was 157. So that's taken 287 megabytes to compute the size for everything. And the actual total size of all those Parquet files is eight gigabytes. So we've only used like a very small uh, percentage of that. What happens if we add in a, a couple more fields? So let's update our query to compute the average width, say rounded to two decimal places, and also the average height uh, of the images that are being created by Midjourney. And we'll run that query. It'll take a slight bit longer and we then get back the average width and the average height as well. And then if we go over to the NetTop tab again, we can see we're now up to 785 megabytes. And it was, remember it was 444 previously. So this took 341 megabytes. So it took a bit more because we had a couple of uh, extra fields. But, but to do all the queries in this video, we've used 785 megabytes. We've pulled down 785 megabytes uh, when actually the, the total size was eight gigabytes. So we've, we've done just under a, a tenth. Uh, so if you liked this video, you might also like this one up here where you can learn even more about querying Parquet files.